Well, it's uh, time to work on pest control for my fruit trees. So this evening we're going to be working on um, preparing sticky traps um, with lures. i showing you how you uh, put these up. We'll do that a little later on. I met with a professional fruit tree grower. We are in an area where we have uh, apple orchards uh, nearby, a couple of miles from our house. He told me I will never be able to get any fruit trees and any fruit off the fruit trees if my neighbor never takes care of them. So I'm all about organic. Uh, I, to, I avoid uh, heavy sprays as much as possible. Um, so he basically told me as soon as you spray, if your neighbor doesn't take care of his trees, those guys will be right over there, the bugs will be. And uh, if you've ever done fruit trees, it's quite a challenge to keep the uh, different uh, uh, moths and uh, uh, apple maggots off the trees. There's a whole life cycle to them. So we're not going to get into that tonight, but uh, basically what I'm going to do tonight is um, I've got developed a line of defense where I've got these uh, traps here. I'll show you how I take, prepare these. And there are a whole uh, case full of this, these types here, and then also a bunch more of these little green guys that get hung up in the trees. Um, so the first one is um, called Lad, Apple, Maggot, Fly, Trap, and Lure. And these, the, the idea of this trap is that the female uh, apple maggot gets attracted to the trap. This gets hung in the fruit tree. Uh, we put a sticky solution on it, which I'll be doing in a minute, showing how that's done. And then we also put a lure, which is this guy right here, um, gets hung on the tree, on the trap, uh, and gets hung near the tree to attract the bugs to the trap. They get stuck, they can't leave, and that takes care of the problems of these little uh, flies laying eggs in your apples. Then you get that little brown um, tunneling through the apple because the larva is inside um, trying to eat the apple, and then it gets outside and lays more flies out and lays more eggs. The whole life cycle goes over and over again. So I'm not a biologist, but that's the simplicity of it. So we're going to start by First, putting on a uh, little, uh, I mean, these little hooks, uh, which basically are some paper clips and some nylon string. And I'll stick this around here so that way it keeps, uh, it'll be easy to replace these things later on. Because uh, I found that you can't keep them up all summer long. I mean, you do, but you do need to take care of the problem of the extra. Um, get sticky, awful of bugs. So you have to be able to switch this out a little bit and um, put some new sticky stuff on it, change the lures. So I figure here I'll put a little paper clip on there, stick them on there, and this is going to hang up on either in the tree or my situation because my neighbor is like literally 50 feet from my trees to his trees, even less than that. I'm going to put a whole line of defense of these guys up, put one every 10 feet. I read that you can do that with these here. And we did last year, we got quite a bit of fruit. And um, so where do you get these traps? Uh, Gardens Live sell these, tr these traps. And uh, they're in the Gardens Live magazine and along with, with the lures also. So first thing I'm gonna do is I get started by simply taking this product here and it gets put on very, very thinly. It's like a sticky substance. It's uh, called Tango Trap Sticky Coating. And it just basically is applied to the whole surface very thinly and um, a little time consuming, but this sticky substance will probably last up to probably about half the summer. And then I'll replace the lures. I come around um, June and put some more of the stuff on here. And that really worked well last year and we'll do the same again this year. You can also use a larger brush to put it on, uh, which I have over here. Goes a little, a little quicker that way. So does that have to be very thick at all, just enough to coat it? Is that when the fly lands on it, he gets stuck, and that's it. So that's that's this product here, and then when you get done, this will get attached to the like so around that paper clip, get hung up there, and then this gets hung either in the tree or it'll get hung along the borderline, which I'll show you how I'm gonna develop this later on to hang these guys up. 
So another product that we do is these are for cowling moss, which is another thing that attacks your um, fruit trees, um, attacks your pears, your plums, peaches, and cherries. And actually, same thing this product here, too. This, <clears throat> the the um, maggots also like to attack the um, cherry trees and the um, plum trees, so we use it for that around that area, too. But this is another one. These are the cowling moths. And um, you can also get these from Garden Live. I'm sure there are other companies out there probably also carry the summer product. Uh, these do come pre-stuck. And then you basically put the apples a different trap to, to trap these kind of uh, cowling moths. And it's an apple pest trap. And this little guy here gets stuck right down inside the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just stick it down the bottom. Or you can hang it up inside here. I usually hang it, just stick it up inside. Let it hang in there. And this will lure. And then they go for that and get stuck. Um, so I do use these, this product here. On the ones that need to be reapplied, they do get old and sticky. So I take, I scrape off the old sticky stuff, and you just put on the new stuff in there, and then stick the little tra tra lures up there, and you're good to go for another season. And they last a couple, three. I probably get these things guys last me probably about three years, seasons out of them. On these, these, these last last indefinitely because they're plastic and they're pretty rigid, rigid resilient. And I haven't lost one yet. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And um, we'll work on getting these guys all coated. I don't know if I get them all done tonight. I've got quite a few here, but we'll get started on that. And then uh, later on this weekend, I'll be putting them outside. I'll come back and show you as far as hanging the trees and how to um, place them properly so we can keep the bugs and back from the fruit and get some nice fruit come this fall.